getting ready to go to Tupelo, get on the bus, uh, and then because there's a storm coming through Mississippi, so we're gonna get on the bus and uh, go to Tupelo, and then off to AM we go. kind of a tradition that we do. Fleming falls asleep within the first 10 minutes of every trip. We put it on Instagram and talk about how tired he is. One of our players, Braxton Lee, retweeted a picture of an alien. <laughs> I don't know if he's some kind of conspiracy theorist or not. There was a guy standing behind him an alien in like a glass jar, so he was, that one? yeah, that one. Right I got there. it. I, and it I said something it about area, it area 51, so I retweeted it. Yeah. Ask him why his beard's so long. Tell us about your beard, man. Oh, he caught that! I, I don't know. Oh. Heading to uh, the this college flight. station. Um, well, I'm just gonna sit here and listen to music, I guess, and uh, try to make this ride as quick as possible. Uh, we uh, we hold each other, so uh, <laughs> and, you know, try to yell and say, say jokes and stuff, so that you don't get nervous about uh, crashing or anything like that. Please recheck that your luggage is stowed in the compartment or in the seat in front of you. Make your seatbelt is fastened, and I hope you have a very pleasant one hour and 20 minute flight. On this, we welcome you to College Station. On behalf of ADI and your entire flight crew, I'd like to wish you a very good luck, and we look forward to seeing you. Thank you. That's about an hour and a half flight. We just landed in College Station. Um, we're about to unpack the plane, head to the hotel, and then we'll get to their field and finish up the day with a good practice and get a good night's rest and play some good baseball this weekend. I hope we go eat. I hope we go eat too. He's a big boy's hungry. We're running the university club. Apparently we're supposed to eat something really good, so I'm hungry. <laughs> About to go eat. Hope we get something good. Hopefully, Colby doesn't eat at all, but we'll see. Yeah. Not sure where we're going though. Why are all those press? Sam's immature. Oh, Sam! Sam. Yeah. Yeah. I was kidding. Seriously? I'm just kidding, dude. I really. Well, that's a <laughs> How are you just... I take it back. That's a terrible joke. I take Did it you back. all of them? I don't want to talk about it. So I, just say it. I, hate, I hate Sam. My least favorite robot. I doubt it. Pretty good, pretty good car load for the weekend. I'm excited about it. It's really good. And the view's nice. Uh, it's pretty good. We got a little bit of chicken, bow tie, noodles, and some Alfredo. Everything's brown. In Texas? Yeah, look at all the buildings. They're all brown. Everything's sandy. A lot of stuck over here. I don't know if I like that just yet. Camera guys got their own TV show. Oh no, please. Alright. <laughs> 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 Bye. 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 Let's go be on the TLC. Uh, we're going to check into the hotel. And then I think we got a little bit of a break. Then we got practice after that. Um, we're about to hand out room keys. And you're about to see a panic because everybody wants to know who their roommate is. And it gets rather interesting. Matt Denny. Huh? I'm so pumped. Good pillow talk and all the usual for the road trip. I'm excited. He's a good roommate. Unfortunately, Scott Weathersby. Pretty much his daddy. I tell him what to do. I have to make sure he showers every night so he doesn't stink up the whole entire room. It's just it's brutal. Hey, I gotta pick the movies, make sure the PG. I'm more excited about rooming with JB again. We got the best combination, wouldn't you say? 100%. Never had a bad time. JB has trouble sleeping in his own bed when he goes back home after a I've learned over the years that if you take the stairs, it's about 10 minutes quicker because everyone 
He's waiting on the elevator and he usually takes a lot longer. About to take a nap and then head to practice and uh, have a good time. Strong win. Ah, the top spin, strong win. I was talking too much. He can't outdo me, and I'm 47. Well, how, how about like maybe, uh, you know, getting him to do some yoga or something? Wow. Like, this is the day you say, man, I'm gonna work on hitting line drive right through the shortstop's head. We're more likely to get him if we just show him some poses and stretches versus have to sit there for 45 minutes and right. breathe and do all that. I've raised our fungo game quite a bit since I've taken over the left side. Excuses don't have to be fiction. They're just excuses. You got like a 37 ACT. Come on. How much you know, how much you know about yoga? We got two rookie fungo guys today just really not getting it done. You know, sometimes you gotta share the wealth, you gotta let people grow up and figure it out. I mean, if it's you know, not yoga, but something. You just say that's what you do every day. Stay in there and bun it. Don't start getting out of there, don't start leaking. Stay in there and bun it. Better. Try to get it open faster instead of. I right, just try to leave it open. Get it down that line, Eddie. Get it down that line, buddy. Uh, Press and gain speed, buddy. Gain speed. Attack it. Come on. Good racks, that baby. Swing it. Ball smoked right there. Where's Coach Head? Well, can you play first? We'll let Ted catch him. That's the way to shut it down. That's good. That's good. Keep your legs fresh out of the running. Always looking after you. <laughs> that was so much of a balk, though. <laughs> That was so ugly. That was so ugly. You know, coming into the series, I think, uh, you know, you look at their record 13 14 in the league, and it can be, a, I think, a little misleading. All right, fellas, got everybody here. Uh, just a few things about the other night before we uh, talk about the guy we're facing today. All right, well, let's talk about, let's, you know, look at the top, you know, four or five hitters of their lineup and, and kind of go through them. The guy we're facing tonight, uh, Mingdon, this is the first inning right here against LSU. This is the leadoff batter, Stevenson. So you can see that he's got kind of a, a funky delivery and he's over the top and he's got a good arm. So we got to see fastballs down in the zone below the belt. Langford. Uh, their best hitter, you know, the first baseman, swing plus, fastball in and out. He ended up pitching a complete game against LSU. So when we get our opportunities, we got to cash in. The guy's a good pitcher. Runs all right. You know, says he's patient with good strike zone discipline. The keys to tonight, just like every Friday night in the SEC, win pitches, execute, hit in the clutch, score five runs or more, and you'll win. I think they're a pretty good overall offense. I think they can swing. I think you have to you know, make pitches to them, but I think they are pitchable. We're on the road, we've got to score some runs, and let's execute when we have those situations. It happens every year that somebody wins the Southeastern Conference, all right? Somebody wins the SEC West. You're in that position. You've been in that position for four weeks, and you've been up sprinting towards the finish line, all right? You gotta have quality at bats and good at bats. You gotta make plays in the field. And you got to be reps. You just got to play. So tonight and this weekend, you got to do what you've done the last three or four weeks. Believe in ourselves. Believe in our system, and just be reps and finish the race. Let's do that tonight. Going into the weekend, we knew um, if we won two games that we had a good chance at, uh, you know, just winning the West. We just really want to focus on game one, just getting out there Thursday night. Um, just winning pitches and doing the best we can. They are filing into Bluebell Park for the opener of what is a very key series within the Southeastern Conference, and it actually closes 
the regular season. Welcome to College Station, where tonight it is the Ole Miss Rebels and the Texas A&M Aggies. Thursday was really uh, what epitomizes you know Chris's whole year where he was able to weather the blows which you have to do on on that Friday night or in this case you know, Thursday night that first game of the series and hang in there it's kind of like that heavyweight battle and you know of course I thought you know Thursday he was excellent at that all right this is where you go I was just telling Trent just where you got to get back into it, right so you got to make a pitch and get out of the inning right here all right first pitch will be a change up away all right but then we'll go right after him I just think he's going to swing at the first pitch all right we'll go with two all okay, right, make a good throw there. We'll get him in the rundown here, all right? Change of weight. Come on. Good body language. I think definitely Chris going out there and pitching well like he does every Friday night and then, you know, waiting for our offense to give us a chance so like we, you know, we can put a big number up in anything. So we need to just be patient and we get, we have our time. In the bottom of the fourth, Daniel Mingdon with a little bit of a lead to work with. He'll face 8-9-1 and one in the fifth for the Rebels. A walk to start the fifth to Preston Overby. In the gap. Down, get down, get down. Boy, yeah. Runners at the corners for the Ole Miss Rebels. They're charging back at the corners for the Rebels with AM leading two to nothing. Breaking ball could be two, but it will score a run. High throw to first base and into the dugout. Moving to second will be Braxton Lee. That's a run for Ole Miss and an out for the Aggies. It's two to one. Me. That is off the body of the first baseman, Cole Lankford, a run is home. Game is tied, and they'll move up to the corners. Scoring is Braxton Lee. Now at third base is Austin Bowsfield. Even up at two. Get out, ball. Get out, ball. Get out. Oh, no. But the Rebels will have the lead, and they've got a man at second base as well. Scoring is Bowsfield, sacrifice fly, and an RBI off the bat of Will Allen. Three to two, Ole Miss top five. Here it is. Into left field, they will try to score a run. Could be a play at the plate. Throw, not in time. Sliding safely is Austin Anderson, and the Rebels have up the advantage to four to two. Job, hey, you got a baby. Nice job. In the top of the building. Softly hit ball at the shortstop. Not at all an easy play for Blake Alleman, and that is all he could do with it. Hard hit left field. Five to two, and they'll try to make it six to two. The throw is back to second base. Safe there, and two more runs score. Rebs are running, Rebs are running. Rebels six, Aggies two. All that speed work, man. Turn haters into believers. Ground ball here, that will end the inning, but not until Ole Miss puts up a six spot. Well, uh, during that bat, it was base loaded and two outs, I believe. Uh, I was trying to look for a pitch just to drive the ball and uh, threw a fastball in, and I got a good swing off of it and luckily got a hit. A lot of energy, a lot of talk. You know, the dugout did a great job just uh, keeping us in it. We were fighting and hitting balls hard, but just fortunately right at people. And then once we got a couple guys on. It's definitely good. I mean, get a big inning like that and get ahead and big, get a big lead. It's always nice. And then. I guess our pitchers are going to go out there and put zeros up like they do every time. When we went back out on defense just to shut them down and not give them a chance to kind of answer, that really set the pace for the game and um, just kind of, kind of helped us get in position to win. With the offense clicking and a solid outing from Chris Ellis, the Rebels would turn to senior Aaron Greenwood to close the game.
that is the ball game. Ole Miss wins it 8-4, one step closer to an SEC West title. It's 10.56, so we're going around a little early. At 11 o'clock, bed check for the guys. Give them a little information on tomorrow, let them know what's going on. Make sure they're in the right place. Strength band's going to make sure they're uh, doing what they're supposed to be doing. If not, he's the, he's the enforcer. Enforcer. Might crack some heads if we have to. Sounds good. They're usually pretty good, so should be easy. Trains to chart in the game. Um, 10 20 will leave to go to the field. Breakfast ends at 10 o'clock, so if you go to breakfast, make sure you take your voucher. Red top, gray shorts. Woo, camera! Wear your red practice shirt and gray shorts. How we doing, guys? The exit's that way. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good one. See you left. Wait, he showed off. Oh. Hey, you texting the missus right now? A little I love you text? Saying goodnight? I do what I do. Night, night. Going to bed. Do not disturb. We don't care. Sorry, we hit the wrong ring. <laughs> I totally okay. apologize for that. No worries. That's never happened before. <laughs> I'm gonna blame that one on him. All the reps are accounted for. Done bed check. Got a big day tomorrow. Got a big game against the uh, Aggies tomorrow night. So gotta get some rest. See you tomorrow. Peace. You wanted to be here, you asked to be here, you, you chose to be here, but do you really want to be here? Do you want to be obsessed with it? You got to love what you're doing, and we have. You guys have shown that obsession and that passion to show up every single day. You know, with energy. And so the message is, this is us, man. This isn't a mirage. This isn't a hot streak. This is us. Just be us, all right? Just be who we are. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep being obsessed, keep having that confidence, that energy, keep being a leader, keep doing what you're doing. All right? And tonight, we'll win the SEC West. Let's go get it. Tonight's our night. Tonight, be aggressive. Go after it. Go like you're trying to win something, but you gotta come to get them tonight. Tonight's our night. Let's go win a championship. Let's go. Deep in the heart of Texas tonight. Hi again, everybody. Welcome to College Station alongside former LSU All-American Big Ben McDonald. I'm Clay Matvick. Ole Miss are gonna be facing a right-hander, Grayson Long, the sophomore from Mont Bellevue, Texas. Coming into the night, First place in the SEC West by one game over Mississippi State. Maxton Lee is ready to lead it off for the Rebels. Way off line and not in time. It's a stolen base for Bowsfield. Slow roller off the side of the mound. The shortstop Robinson charging and throwing him out. Good pitch, good pitch. Because you don't have to get way in, you know what I'm saying? I just don't want to leave it so he can just go. Yeah, I'm like, That's good. 
Coming around to score is Robinson and Ole Miss takes a one to nothing lead here in the third inning. Back up the middle, base hit. Coming around as Banks going to try to score the throw. Is up the line and not in time. RBI single for the backstop, Troy Stein. And Texas A&M busts out in front here in the fourth. I think Bianco is going to come out and talk to his left-hander, Christian Trent. This is where you got to take the momentum away. You got to make a pitch or two, and you got to earn this back on your own right here. Don't rush. I think you'll still, if it's a hit and run, just swing yeah. through it, I think you'll get a shot at him, all right? So this is where you got to bear down. You got to, you know, some, you know, change up, guy hits it, you know, 1 0. This is where you got to bear down a little bit, make some pitches, get us back in the dugout so we can score some runs, all right? Yeah, Slider first strike. To center. Bounce field. Makes the catch. AM strands too, but they scored two. They feel good. All right. And uh, so don't let it you know unravel on you all of a sudden, you know, at the bottom of the lineup. We talked about that. Bottom of the lineup, now we'll start to run some counts where I want to attack him and get off the right, field. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Getting a 3 0, 3 1, 3 2, and all, you know, all of that. All right. Keep battling, keep making pitches. Everybody, come in here. All right. I, I know you know it. We're playing for a championship here, right? I want the body language like, did you look like you're going to win. You know what I'm saying? We've talked about this. This is the time to put the foot on the gas pedal. This is the time to go after it. This is the time to get big. This is the time to look like you're going to win a national championship. Not sit around and wait for somebody else to do it. You be the guy. All right? If it's, if it's to be, it's up to you. It's up to me, right? Somebody be the guy here. More body language, more energy here. The rest of the game. Let's go. And we played five, two, one, Texas A&M. The baby, keep battling. Allen with his second hit here tonight to lead off the sixth. J.D. Woodman at the plate. Hits it high and deep to right field. On the wall! And it's going to be off the wall. Allen being waved around third. He's going to try to score at will. And in the third is J.B. Woodman with a one scoring triple. Now we'll see what he do with Woodman. He runs like a deer, so it doesn't surprise me that they're going to run even on Bratson's arm. And it's 3-2 Ole Miss as Jamison. Scores him with an RBI sack fly. Good job, 12. Way sweet, big man. Give me some, 12. Hit my hand. A two run six. This old miss goes back in front. One, two, hit hard. The bat of Maroney. Now here comes Mike Bianco. He's looking out toward the bullpen. Trent at 92 pitches. We're going to uh, bring Weathersby in here, all right? We'll give him a couple throws down there. When I came in, um, I was a little bit nervous, as you would expect when you play a baseball game um, in front of five or six thousand people. And then, but once I get in the game, I, it's for me, it's kind of crazy because before I go in, I'm a little nervous. But once I get in the game, I'm not at all. all right. It's a bunt situation, but I don't know if they'll bunt. All right, so we'll test them to begin with, and then we'll go from there. Fill it up right here, Come on, big man. So Texas A&M gets into the Ole Miss bullpen here in the. Sixth inning, Trent is taken off the cleats. His team leading 3-2 here in the bottom of the sixth. Gave up the hit to lead off the inning. 2-1 count. I had thrown three breaking balls, got the guy to a 2-1 count, and they did a hit and run. Um, and I heard Sightshell runner behind me, and I hadn't thrown my fastball yet, so I was like, if I can get this get this ball by him, Will's got a great chance to throw the guy out. I knew he was getting tired over there. Sykes told me later on the kid was just out of breath. I threw it on the outside corner, the dude swung over the top of it, and Will threw a strike to second got the guy out, um, and then the next pitch, um, I struck the guy out that, that I was facing. So I got two outs like that, which I guess really propelled me um, into the rest of my outing. Nice job, oh, well. up, baby. Nice job. Big, big. Errol Robinson battles it up. And Scott Weathersby faces the minimum 
here in the bottom of the eighth. When we brought Scott in, there was a lot of innings left. He wasn't sure, knew he'd have success, wasn't sure that he could go off four. But when you watch him and as he starts to roll, um, you know, it's really his game. Throughout the game, me and Errol like to make jokes in the middle, just keep this playing loose and stuff. Uh, and it started, we started counting the outs down when it got to the uh, eighth inning, I believe. So it was a little um, excitement going. It's, it's 3-2 as we go to the ninth. Now Ole Miss looking for some insurance here in the ninth. Bows field. One for four tonight. Swings at the first pitch, serves it into right. Coming over toward the line is Banks. He'll make the catch. That's going to score a run. Here comes Overby. Big run for Ole Miss. They now lead it by two. It is four to two here in the ninth. That's it, D. Great A.B., man. Nice job. So Ole Miss is going to have a two-run lead going into the bottom of the ninth. Last chance for A&M. We get another run in the ninth. Uh, there's not a guy that we have better on the staff to throw the ball into the strike zone, to throw three different pitches than Scott. But certainly we had Josh Laxer warming up in the bullpen. We had uh, Wyatt Short warming up just in case something was to happen. But you know, thankfully Scott didn't need that. He just, he just ran right through it. And Texas A&M is down to its last out. Once, uh, once we got the first two outs, I realized like this is a good chance. We're about to be the SEC West champs. And it's kind of getting anxious. I'm looking over there, waiting for the signs to be relayed from Coach B, and I'm just like, come on, let's go. I want to get this, get this going. Ole Miss one out away from clinching the SEC Western Division crown. Trying to bunt for a hit. And he's out. Home plate umpire Joe Judkowitz says he is out at home plate, and that's going to end it. Right, right when he called it out, I went and scrambled and got the ball. So I, I kept the ball just to have. But and then Will threw his mask down. We we both celebrated, and then we got bombarded by everyone in the dugout that came out there. So. But as soon as that happens, you just jump over the fence and just start going crazy. I think I found Will. I was going to go at Scott, but Scott was already getting pounded by somebody else. I started punching Will out in the stomach, and then me and Gallon had a big hug and said, after three years, if we finally got it, so that was huge. We knew that was the third out. We knew that we had just won the SEC West. I mean, I think we all just started jumping up and down. I mean. I went straight for Scotty and gave him a big hug and just told him, I mean, just congrats. I mean, it's the first team I played on here, and so it was definitely exciting. Hopefully, many more to come. Uh, great for all the guys that have been here four years and the other guys like Greenwood, Scott Weathersby, uh, Will Allen, Austin Anderson. It was just a great moment to spend with now. It doesn't matter if you're 47 years old or you're 18 to 22 years old. It, it, championships are hard to win, especially in this league, and so that was a special moment for us. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh wow! I don't I don't know what to say. I want to hug all of you. Uh, you know, great game, and you know it's one it's one of those. And one of the reasons that we're where we're at is because we can win all kinds. We can we can out hit them. We can steal base. We play defense, and certainly we can pitch our butts off like we did tonight. Where's Mr. Weathers been? Listen, awesome. Congratulations and you know the first championship here in five years and you deserve it. And uh, I want you to you know I want you to enjoy it tonight. That was a lot of fun, a lot of adrenaline. Unbelievable feeling. You know it's a special team. It's been a uh, just an incredible year. And this is the greatest feeling in the world, but we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Going to get some more. Going to get some more wins, baby. Can't describe it, man. We just uh, <laughs> come through what we can't to do, man. First minute to come, though. Ah, what's up, boy? Awesome, awesome, awesome. That, we got the West, baby. What it is. Can't do nothing right now. Let's go. Let's go. Rebels won the West. Throw your, throw your dubs up, because we got that West. Oh, uh, we're about to hear a little bit of trophies. It's our, uh, our theme song for win games. I think this one's about to be the best of the year so far. First minute to come to the championships. <laughs> Give him that party bus. Yeah,